NC Nation, what's up? We're back with another issue on Dark Crisis on Infinite Earths. This is issue number three, and yeah, let's get into it. We first see an overview of the world. Heroes are being hunted down by Deathstroke's army. Some heroes are hanging up their cape. Other heroes want to be with their family and friends. And even those who still have hope feel guilty that they didn't do enough. We see Dick Grayson at the bedside of Garfield Logan, aka Beast Boy in a hospital. Deathstroke shot Beast Boy straight in the head two issues ago. Dick feels guilty. He wishes he could have helped Beast Boy. Garfield isn't going to die, but the trauma from the attack does more damage than the bullets will ever do. The Bat Family and the Teen Titans stand down the hall of the hospital. They try to find a direction. Jason Todd and Roy Harper team up to go search for Roy's daughter, Leon. This could be a very interesting tie-in or ongoing series after Dark Crisis ends. Like, come on, I'd be down for a Red Hood and Arsenal team-up book again. We switch to the Hall of Justice. Black Adam is now leading the new Justice League. He tells John Kent and the other heroes, All of your instincts are good. I'll give you that. But you're not experienced enough. The dark army that killed the Justice League is still out there, and you could be next. None of you are as heroic as those who have fallen before you. The Justice League's shadows are so large that you are lost in them. Which is why Deathstroke is winning. Deathstroke's army attacks heroes, and then warp teleports them out before you can catch them. These attacks will never stop until Deathstroke has killed you all because you're not willing to do what must be done. Black Adam says as he holds the villain Vertigo in a chokehold. Black Adam wants John Kent and the other heroes to kill. This is the only way to win. John Kent, the son of Superman, disagrees. John yells at Black Adam to stop. The other heroes disagree with Black Adam's ideas. Black Adam begins to kill, but then Yara Floor, Wonder Girl, shows up and saves Vertigo. The heroes look at Black Adam with disgust. You're all a waste of my time, Black Adam says, taking off his cape and leaving. Yara decides to finally join John Kent's new Justice League. Damien and John walk out of the Hall of Justice. Damien and John have a huge argument. Damien somewhat agrees with Black Adam's tactics. He thinks it is realistic. I can't believe you right now. We need hope. That's what a Justice League does. It gives hope. John says, Maybe that's why they died. Damien shouts. A moment of silence occurs. John begins to tear up. Sorry to interrupt, but there is no Justice League. How about a society? We'd love to help if you young people don't mind some old timers lending a hand. Alan Scott the Green Lantern says arriving at the Hall of Justice with the rest of the Justice Society. We get an awesome splash image drawn by the great artist Daniel St. Pierre. Come on guys, the Justice Society are here. They are back. That is exciting. We shift to Deathstroke's headquarters. Ravager is thrown in front of Deathstroke. Deathstroke's daughter has broke in. Ravager tells Slade that what he's doing isn't right. You've always been broken, Slade. But all of this is a new low, she says. I have become part of something bigger. The darkness speaks to me. Slade says, gain close. Stay away from me! Ravager says, kicking Slade back. Prometheus rushes in with other villains to help their boss, Slade. Perfect timing. Slade says as he releases the great darkness into his forces' bodies. I think I know 
how to start a crisis. Slate says smiling. Rapture is horrified. This is not her father. She screams no as Slade approaches her. We shift to Sector 666. How Jordan's Green Lantern army arrive in front of Necron's Black Lantern battery. How Jordan, Kyle Rayner, and Joe Moline head into the power battery. I had hoped it would be you, Pariah says as how Jordan falls into the Black Lantern darkness. We see Parallax, Hal Jordan in the background. This is another amazing splash image. The fight with Pariah begins. Hal Jordan creates constructs of the dead Justice League and he attacks. Pariah is too powerful though. He uses the great darkness to overwhelm the three Green Lanterns. Kyle and Joe Moline distract Pariah as Hal Jordan heads to grab the Justice League trapped worlds. Let's see how far down this rabbit hole I can go. Hal Jordan says grabbing onto the worlds that Pariah has imprisoned the Justice League. The Great Darkness is not using the Justice League to restore your multiverse. It's turning them into weapons! Hal Jordan shouts as he is disintegrated. He wakes up with his ring gone. He has been transported to his own trapped world. You are now welcome on this world. This is Sector John Stewart. A nearby Green Lantern says approaching Hal. Sector what now? Hal Jordan says, confused. Meanwhile, on Earth, Black Adam walks through a swamp forest. I thought I could push the young heroes to do what need to be done. They are too concerned with hope. I believe it's time for doom. Black Adam says, talking with Lex Luthor and the Legion of Doom. Sounds like a job for Lex Luthor. Lex says as this issue comes to a close, Black Adam is finally on the villain's side again. The Legion of Doom are back. How Jordan is trapped in the same way the rest of the Justice League are. The Justice Society are back. This Dark Crisis event is starting to pick up some steam. I really enjoyed this issue. A lot of plot progression and great twists, some good action, and I really like how Joshua Williamson is writing Black Adam's character. I'm really excited for the next issue, but for now, tell me your thoughts on this issue down below. Like, comment, and subscribe, and yeah, peace out, y'all.